By sunset on D-Day, June 6, 1944, the conclusion of World War II was a given. The Allies finally had a beachhead in Nazi-occupied Europe just 20 miles from Britain. During the war years leading up to the event, the outcome was not so clear. Even so, many civilians and servicemen were yet to perish through another year of battle before Germany finally surrendered. Lesser known in the long campaign getting to D-Day, and mostly ignored by historians, is the vital role played by one small piece of hardware invented by two British physicists that gave the Allies an exclusive edge. Four of the combatants had radar, America, Britain, Germany, Japan. But there was radar, and then there was microwave radar, and the difference was akin to that between the musket and the rifle. The British invention solved a problem with radar that every nation's scientists understood, but only two British physicists had overcome. It was so revolutionary that enemy scientists, even when the evidence of their losses was before them, didn't believe that radar could possibly be the cause. The top secret invention was the resonant cavity magnetron, born of a cooperative effort between government and science established in Great Britain long before the outbreak of war. Such a partnership was unprecedented in the United States but fortunately was adopted on the eve of war, if reluctantly, by some military leaders. In May 1940, as German troops swept across the Low Countries and France, scientist statesman Vannevar Bush carried a single page of notes to President Franklin D. Roosevelt's office. Fifteen minutes later, Roosevelt scrawled his OK on Bush's notes. In five months, June to November 1940, a government scientist partnership, the National Defense Research Committee, NDRC, was established and working. Research and development laboratories were operating at leading universities in the United States and were funded and staffed with the best and brightest of the nation's civilian scientists who heeded their country's call. Through the war years, this community of civilian physicists and engineers in both the United States and Britain performed intellectual feats under intense pressure. They crisscrossed the Atlantic, past marauding U-boats, flew in and out of London during the Blitz to confer with fellow scientists, flew test and training missions in military aircraft side by side with military personnel, and spent day after grinding day in cold makeshift laboratories in the British countryside designing, testing, and redesigning equipment that only months earlier had never existed. The resonant cavity magnetron spawned a series of secret microwave radar systems, two of which conquered the two primary obstacles to a major Allied land invasion on Europe, D-Day. Allied ground forces had to establish a permanent beachhead on the continent to bring the war in Europe to a conclusion sooner rather than later. The two obstacles to D-Day were the German U-boats and the European weather. U-boats threatened Britain's very existence by terrorizing the shipping lanes. In the first six months of 1942 alone, Axis submarines sank 585 ships, over 3 million gross tons, an average of more than three ships a day. This level of destruction was approaching half the total Allied ship production over that same period. Admiral Karl Dönitz's goal was to sink more ships than the Allies could produce each month. Britain's survival relied on importing the necessities of life and military supplies from the United States, Canada, and other nations by sea. 